what's going on YouTube hooking up to the pipe right here show y'all how it's doing all y'all the one know how to do pneumatic work it's real simple real easy gloves on because it's like 120 degrees out here we're gonna use a 10 foot hose connected from the back of the trailer into the pipe I might have to bag back a little bit not too sure Pretty much, you just connect it straight into it. Hopefully, y'all can see, because I didn't check. It's kind of rusty, so you know how that go. Rusty ass equipment. You gotta fight with it. Don't got no damn hammer. Usually want to have a hammer to make things easier. When you ain't got no hammer. Uh oh, I guess you can use a rock right? Got the live stream going at the same time. How that could be difficult. Can y'all even see what the fuck I got going on? What is that right here? Y'all can see a little bit. Much better, much better. But can y'all see? Good enough, I guess. I don't know. There's two clamps. You just lock them in place. Gotta smack the tray and make sure it's empty. The side hollow. You hear, the, you hear the echo? That means it's empty. You don't want to be blowing off into a full train car. Then you take the ending pole and connect it to the trailer. In this case, I'm going to have to pull forward because, uh, let me see. Yeah, I got to pull forward because I'm too close. I'm too close. Just a little bit, just an inch. Show y'all what I'm talking about. All right, so... See, it's kind of got a, a knot kind of going on right there, so I need to uh, screw up just a little bit. All right, guys, so we got the piping connected. There we go, zoom out for you. So, pretty much it snaps in, close the clamps here, here, just like that. And then, Everybody be wondering why I be putting the camera to the ground. It's mainly so y'all just don't see the logos and who I work for and all that crap. Because I know everybody thinks that Andrew is working at some special company. Anyways, the next, next step is to take the blue cap off. Just like that. And special. We got the hot air hose right here. So after you hook up in the back, go ahead and hook up to the blower. All the hoses got seals on them, depending on the size, depends on the seal. Seal goes inside. Once you get it inside, you can go ahead and connect it. Mine tends to fall out, right? On. Lock it up. Alright, that's all to it. Now we uh, start to blow up and uh, start unloading. You got three levels and uh, I'm going to show y'all what each one do, I guess. Alright, so you got your emergency valve which pretty much lets air escape out of here. 
if your pressure get too high. And on my trailer, it's red, so pretty much, let's say the pressure was going too high, I'll open the valve up and air escapes out and then I'll bring the pressure down. So before we start, we wanna close it off because we don't want air escaping. So always the first step is to uh, close the emergency valve. Believe it or not, not everybody's emergency, va emergency valve is red. After that, you only got two levels. You got the tank pressure and you got the line pressure. And uh, pretty much it's nothing more than just directing the airflow. So first thing we wanna do is put air into the tank. So as the air flows through the hot air hose, we want to open the tank valve, which is open straight up and down. So air is gonna come here and it's gonna go upwards and into the tank, okay? So uh, we wanna open this and to make sure the air doesn't continue going, we are going to close this off, right? So I'll show you what that looks like. How do you start the blower? In my case, of course you gotta start the truck up. It's gonna get real loud, so hopefully y'all still be able to hear me. For me, it's just one switch, turn it on, set the cruise control to a thousand RPMs. So you can hear it firing on. And pretty much for me, I just do that one time. Might take a minute because the truck just fired on. Let me do it again. All right, see that? All right, so pressure is at zero. We build the tank pressure first. So we want to build the tank pressure to 10 PSI. So like I said, it's only two levels. That one is straight up and down so the air can flow upwards into the tank. We close this off. Come straight down and flow on outside the back of the tank. So that's all we did. We just changed the knobs up. Pretty much this one come down. That one comes up. So as you can see, the air flow straight down, all right? And the pressure is still the same, okay? Because the pressure is already in the tank. Now we just need to release the product. The only thing that controls the line pressure it's the product line, you got three of them. One, two, three, all right? So we gonna, we gonna do the one in the middle because it's right here, so we basically wanna match it, 10, 10. So, pretty much I open it. Let's say I open it, let's say I open it a little bit. We only got five. Open it some more. Now we want to come back to the back 
We want to see the hose moving so we know that the product is flowing out. Then we're going to put our hand on it and you want to feel the product coming out. We can obviously feel it out. It's pumping. It's pumping right into it. You can even hear it on the inside. A little bit, y'all probably, they probably ain't gonna pick up on my cam, but you see the product flowing out. Now, I, I teach all my trainees how to do this in like two days. You know, two loads, two, three loads, and they're expert at the shit.